So let's go ahead and review the Starburst PAR. I'm going to go ahead first and apply power. Split my yoke first so I get my cable through it. Power in. Boom. Now it's turning on. First thing uh, we'll notice is it's got a typical four digit display. Okay? It's going to blink right there when it doesn't have DMX, uh, like a lot of fixtures. So you'll see that when there's no DMX. There's two modes of DMX addressing, two uh, channel modes. Six channel, which is just the LEDs, you know, red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV. That's six LEDs, six channels. And then the 10 channel that features a master. If you have a console that doesn't do virtual masters, has a strobe, has a macro channel. I usually use the six, but that's up to you and your needs. Okay, uh, cycling through it here, I'm just gonna put it into an auto mode here. So you can run these a number of ways. Uh, one, it can run static color. This is full brightness here. As you can see, it's quite bright. Um, for reference, the unit that's lighting me and on the backdrop as well is a 700 watt LED moving head. Um, so the fact that we see this you know, on the wall next to it is uh, pretty extraordinary. Features a 45 degree beam angle, okay? You can see it shoot through the air a little bit there. Um, it's pretty wide, making this ideal for a couple things. One, it works great as an uplight. Two, if you're in a space with a small ceiling like here, the truss is about eight feet above my head, it can work as a really great backlight, okay? Uh, in a pinch, it can even work as a front light. You can tune in a pretty decent warm white on these. I'll just go ahead and do it quick. If I pull the red out, then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna pull some green out. I'm gonna pull a lot of blue out. Yeah, all the blue out. And you can start to see how I've got a warm white here. It's, it's hard to see on camera, especially given the white balance. Um, but, you know, this is usable as a front light. Is it the most even front light you're gonna see? No. But at the price that this light's at, it really shines above its competitors. Uh, when we talk about, you know, overall, I'm just going to put it in auto mode here. Get some color modes. Overall, it's got a bunch of different colors that it does a great job at. So here I've got a nice red, green, blue, white, amber, UV. So those are the individual diodes. Then some mixed colors like cyan, white, back to red. It makes nice colors. Uh, the green is a little bit um, harsh, which is always good in a green. It's not too close to the blue side of things, but it does mix really well. The blue um, is about as close to purple as you can get and still be blue. It's very deep. It's, it's not desaturated like cheaper LEDs are gonna be. Uh, the white is a nice neutral white. I would put it at probably 3,500K. Um, and so it's not a super warm white, but it's not super bluish either. So you, you really can get a good white out of this. Um, the amber can add a nice punch to those colors that uh, need a little extra, a little extra warmth. And uh, then the UV is there. Um, it is not the brightest UV you've ever seen, but if you're in a space where you've blacked out the room entirely, and you're just looking for a quick and easy, you know, black light effect, it does work and it is there. And it's also helpful if you mix it in a little bit with some of those blues and purples and even magentas. Um, you'll find that adding UV adds a little bit of punch to them. So that's the Starburst PAR. Um, as I said, you know, if you're interested in this light, come check out pricing over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear and make sure to fill out our quote request. Get your personalized quote so we can get you uh, the personalized price for this light and anything else that you need. We're happy to answer any questions you have. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Thanks.